Cheers to the chosen and blessed few who generate positive and good vibrations during times like these. You are the kings and queens of destiny. Today is definitely a shields up and smoke them if you got them kind of a Sunday. If attempting to be the second coolest man that's ever walked planet Earth is a sin, then baby, I am a sinner. I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord Nuthor 7, and you are Asteroid Fight Club Space Force Supreme. In 2020, is as wild and as crazy as I've been advertising it since I've been doing Thor News. So, prepare for some, you know, jarring information, possibly. And so, I'm sticking with my recommendation that you and your family and friends prepare for some type of future lockdown here in America or where you might live. And that plan would consist of you know extra food extra water getting all your medicines figuring out where you would want to be at a time the government tells you you're not allowed to leave your house and so at a time where all your politicians and all your political parties are totally ignoring the coronavirus which has shut down 10 percent of all the world's population about 800 million people in china in Good Morning Vietnam, in South Korea, in Iran, and in Italy, basically, our government strategy could be to not talk about it and ignore it until cases break out here and then just call for a lockdown and then everybody waits to see what happens next. Because the, the first lockdowns pretty much started in Hubei or Wuhan, China. And they are on lockdown through March 11th. So they've been on lockdown for about five weeks and they got three weeks to go. And I'm going to make a request if I can. I'm going to ask for everyone to work together as a team and for the haves to be extra generous to the have nots uh, over the next few months because we are all in this together. Shields up. As Connor's pointing out, Sunday night, Futures Twitter, ready to panic. Regular Twitter, panic curious. And the normies, huh? Or insert your own political opinion there where they're talking about. Shields up. Connor has pulled an excellent data point to kind of express the situation happening. We are looking at a Google search term for the coronavirus over the past 90 days. Whoops. Don't fight me now, baby. All right, here we go, maybe. So, as you can see, it pretty much spiked around the start of February. And since then, the media has been doing everything it can to distract you with politics. And politicians who pretty much have all the focus are not talking about this at all. And so this is America's Google search terms, I think in the millions over time. And you can see, even though the data keeps going straight up in information fashion, America and the locals' interest in it is going down in time. So, Astro Fight Club, I have definitely give you all a leg up on what we're dealing with and what is happening. I pretty much told you to stock up on things that you might need if you were locked down in a month you can see here it's almost like there the same system that is made to distract people with politics and gossip and bullshit of the national inquiry variety doesn't know how to react to a pandemic which is breaking out and so it's definitely weird and it's definitely going to get weirder but there are still maximum opportunities opportunities for us all to work together and do the right things and so central banks are ready to step up and take care of the corporations and companies which are going to get hit hardest by all of the shutdowns that are happening across the globe and that i have tried to be a representative of the people because the people will need food electricity 
that at a time of unprecedented need, we are going to have to take care of everyone. If we just take care of the corporations and the banks and not the people in this situation, it would be catastrophic. And so I can't express teamwork enough. Carl Quintana, a small, a survey of small and medium sized Chinese companies conducted this month showed the third of respondents only had enough cash to cover fixed expenses for a month with another third running out within two months. Because if you have 800 million people who have to just stay at home, um, that is not how our system has worked over the last 2,000 years. Or you've always had workers working, especially in an in industrial age. And no matter how much money was generated through money generation, currency generation, you have a specific amount of goods and people's time in working and consuming them and that up until now supply lines supply chains have never broken down and now they are breaking down slowly in China and in parts markets and a system that has been used to trying to make the most amount of money possible we now have to transition into a system of we have to keep supply chains up and running and power grids up and running and hospitals up and running so uh, this is the grand transition y'all and it is in super game like leveled up boss mode and so your information systems have been trained to give you whatever information makes them the most money and now we need the truth and we need teams working together because like Iran says 43 infected with coronavirus and eight are dead. That would be a 20% kill rate about for the virus. And right now the projection on it is one to 2% kill rate with it doing some damage even if you survive. And we've got soft lockdowns in California and I believe Washington, possibly even Michigan where they have asked specific large groups of people to stay home and not leave the house so i don't know our groups are having a hard time figuring out how to work together and so you know it is like i feel kind of silly admitting this but i also deal in risk assessment on a daily basis and speak in probabilities so my husband and i have decided that it's prudent to do some low-key prepping just in case shit hits the fan here in the u.s related to the coronavirus and so i'm you know saying hey yeah that's a great idea israel is barring foreigners who visited japan in the last two weeks and so if we are watching other nations i believe there's like 167 other countries maybe like 300 other countries in the world um we are watching other countries make major moves to deal with the coronavirus and watching their containment strategies or their mitigation strategies are interesting but what is more interesting is watching our own government totally avoid the subject completely altogether and continue talking about an election that is nine months away. Corona the latest. Confirmed cases in Italy have climbed above 100. South Korea raised the infectious disease alert to the highest level after a 20-fold increase in five days. And the Diamond Princess passenger tested positive after returning home. That was like a Petri dish, I'm pretty sure cruise ship businesses are going to get hit hard after this or during this. China is talking about how the psychological struggle has started to feel real after you've been locked in and closed off at your house for five weeks and a lot of them didn't have any time to prepare ahead of time. And so uh, I plan to go back to the grocery store this week and load up on more water, more toilet paper and Paper towels, canned goods, stuff like that, peanut butter. Um, but yeah, it's we're definitely in the weirdest time I've ever known as your planetary defense commander. Afghanistan now reports three suspected cases of the coronavirus in the western province of Herat. The three persons at Herat residence who recently returned home from Uham City in Iran and the public health ministry spokesman Hadou Mayor said. And so right now, slowly we are seeing Europe kind of closed the borders off to Italy. And so if you are from Italy or Italian, 
well, technically, you're not allowed to leave because a lot of places, including Austria, Germany, I think, are cutting off train and transportation. So we're having transportation, which is a major factor in the global economy, pretty much kind of slowly shut down on different levels. And this is only super doomy if we continue to let the nihilists and the super greedy control the narrative and us not to work together. Solidarity involves commitment and work as well as the recognition that even if we do not have the same feelings or the same lives or the same bodies, we do live on common ground. And so it is best for all people to do their best to work together and share resources and ideas and plans during the possibility of like a world shutdown for a month and then figuring out what we are going to do once this problem is solved. And the Dean Koontz book that just kind of predicted all this basically said at some time it would go away. Um, our president and for possibly April, Nostradamus said maybe July. So it's a decent thought to keep in your mind, but it's definitely not the one to prepare for. Prepare for the worst, plan for, plan for the worst, and pray for the best. And so I'm going to keep a light of the tunnel that... This thing is not going to wipe out all of humanity everywhere. And that at some point we will survive it and we will rebuild from there. But it is time to build a world of the future instead of grasping on to ideas and systems of the past. Iranians are reportedly avoiding greeting each other with their hands to avoid spreading the coronavirus and they're using their feet instead. So... You know, I mean, I'm doing what I can to not make anybody panic or feel fear. But I'm telling you, during these times, as we see governments just say at one point, hey, everybody stay home. The virus is outbreaking in our area. That time is going to come to the USA probably within a week, two, three weeks. You know, and for me. And for everyone I know who's been following the COVID, the last few days have felt like a profound shift in the epidemic. We are clearly entering a new phase. And since I had some time to digest recent news, here's a short thread about the window of opportunity. And I'm pretty sure March is going to bring back a severe weather component to all this madness, including major flooding in our USA rivers. Yeah, we got like a mercury retrograde now. And then I think next month we get Venus retrograde and then we get Jupiter conjunct Pluto. So whether it be weather or pandemic or astrological or astronomical, I think we get some comets coming around too. Whatever it is, I plan to survive it. And that, as I stated at the beginning, that now... It seems the wall of negativity and pessimism is larger than ever. And so, that ain't my game, bro. That's never been my game. And every time I make a video, especially talking about all the things that are real and clear present dangers now, I get back a wall of negativity. And people saying, oh, hell no. The devil's going to ride his motorcycle right up our buttholes. We're doomed. And well... It has never been the spirit of Astro Fight Club because as long as I'm alive and you are alive and the sun, the sun is still shining, hope lives. And so this is an opportunity for us to fix everything and do everything the proper way. We are definitely in a deep solar maximum. Uh, I'm hoping the sun will kickstart its own heart somewhere around the summer and I do think that empires rise and fall during solar maximums and solar minimums and weird ass plagues from hell that show up out of bottomless pits might happen at maximum solar minimums as well there's a saying on earth a happy wife is a happy life and I ain't never been married but I know a happy mom makes for a happier life and Women haven't been that happy for like the last five years. They ain't been happy with nothing. And they've been like, man, you totally suck. 
And so, we've all had a bit of a beat down, though there's been some great women who lift our spirits out there for sure. But I'm saying, this Venus retrograde period, I have my eyes on long before the virus broke out because, I don't know, the whole male-female relations going on Earth, uh, you know, if there was a system where we totally needed balance, it, it's definitely between men and women. So I'd much rather focus on how can we all get along than discuss how there are like 37 genders on the planet. And, and I, you know, at this point, I think my sexuality is disappointed. What? Okay. But yeah, so real life's a lot like the movies right now, where you got super villains everywhere, and we're wondering when the heroes are going to show up and start doing amazing things. This is Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. I think it doesn't hit perihelion for like two months. It's already like a mag eight. Will it be one of the major contenders for like WTF in this year? Who knows, man? There's a little bit of air at the hang. I had three beers today. They are delicious. And I had pizza last night. I think it's the best pizza ever. And so it's not hard to enjoy the finer things in life. Well, remember, we had to invent pizza. You know, dude, we, um, we've done a lot of cool things as human beings. And so it's not total doom. Thanks, pizza. Which is a good segue to like Pizza Gate. And Pizza Gate is just kind of where the whole divide and conquer man versus man shit, where they turn, they try to turn everything negative out there, take hope away from everybody. So everybody loves pizza. And then they had to take that and turn it into something horrible. So every time you looked at pizza, you're like, oh, that represents something bad. It was kind of like they took the term positive, right? Or like back in the 80s, it was like, oh, my God, he's positive for AIDS. Or, oh, my God, it's positive for the virus. So positive was turned into a negative thing. Or even like the term happy ending. They turned it into like a, a hand job you get at a massage parlor. And definitely never once in all the stories I've ever written have I ever considered a hand job a happy ending? You see what? Like they've literally been pissing on all of our parades, trying to break all of our spirits. And so they try and inject negativity into everything. And so here I am trying to shine on with positivity and hope because it still lives, man. Totally. Meteors, aliens, bow lies, and ladies. Yeah, this is Cabo Rojo facing west. A little bit of everything. 2020 is crazy, baby. Yeah. So, yeah, things are wild, getting wilder, and will probably continue to increase in their WTFness. And so, I'm asking you to be cool. I'm also asking you to be generous with your kindness and any of the ways you can with all people and to work it out. And so, I will be fighting for the good guys, the light, and a better future as long as I'm around. So hopefully I will be able to recalibrate my talkiness because communicating danger and risks to the public these days is a tricky business and I'm doing the best I can. And I still think I'm the best planetary defense commander y'all have ever had. We're still hanging in there, but it's weird. And it would be great if the power players could make some good moves and we got better risk in possible future and mitigation communications from the people at the top you know because we got a lot of issues and i definitely think the solution to all of them is teamwork okay love you guys stay cool peace out god bless everyone and have a great day prayer man